Hello, friends. <laughs> Did you push start? I pushed start. <laughs> so, yeah. We have been up, down, inside out, and every which way here. So, for those that don't know, um, we are the owners of Tweed Thistle Farms. We're, it's a predominantly flower farm, but we also have produce. We, uh, we bought this five and approximately half acres in December of 2020. Right, pretty much at the height. You know, pandemic was in all its glory, really. Lots of masks and everything else. And it kind of was an eye opener that, you know, life is short. And we never even met the guy that did our loan, never met him in person. That's right. That's because right. Because of the pandemic. Exactly. But we just, I don't know, I woke up one morning and kind of had this real desire to have a farm, a farm for grandchildren that we don't even have yet. Maybe never will have. That's okay. Um, we just wanted something that, I, I was done with watching the news. Um, there was almost never anything good on, on the news. and. I was sort of a news junkie up until that point, um, and it was time to do something different, something that we could make a difference with and have an effect on um, not only maybe a spot of land, but maybe on putting a smile on some people's faces during a time that was, and we've seen that. We've seen that with our flower stand out here at the road where I am tickled when we drive by and we see people uh, taking pictures in front of our stand and uh, young people getting their flowers for homecoming or asking for their a date for homecoming for, with our flowers. Um, they've all been Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's all been, you know, really a, kind of a special process. And in the background of all of that has been a dream that that we would build our forever home here. And 2022 has been, uh, you know, builders can't even give you a, they give you an estimate. They can't even give you an actual of what, what your cost is going to be to build your home. And we're pretty conservative in a lot of ways. And that is just a pretty fearful, unsettling kind of a thought to go into. Maybe, maybe it'll cost this, maybe it'll cost this. Right. Hopefully not. We don't know. But yeah, lumber is going down. Yes, lumber is going down. But... Drywall is going up and glass and concrete. concrete. So, you know, you have one thing on the up and then the other thing on the down. And again, the unknown. What do you do? Do we you could, do it? We could have waited. But well, we can, you know, we still, it's... We, we put our house up for sale and we sold our home with the idea that we were, we were moving into an apartment for a period of time and that we will build. That was, that's, is, was the goal and the dream. And so many times, so many steps of the way, things have all worked out perfectly. It's, everything has been for the right reason and things have happened and then you're like God, you know we're faithful people and we're like geez god what you know what is the plan here and it's revealed something happens and it's like okay all right we get it give us what we need not what we ask for and i think the builder had a lot to do with it too having us move forward with doing it he was gave us a lot of confidence and just uh just a great guy he's got great people working for him and so, it uh, gave us a good feeling that we were doing the right thing, even though we we went back and forth three or four times. You know, let's wait. No, let's do it. Let's wait, and then you know. Let's let's take the money from our home sale, and I, I don't can't remember how many times I've said let's put it in a coffee can and put it under the bed, <laughs> and just and just wait. And 
for what? You know, I, I've said several times, you know, you only live once. And you had just seen that saying. What, did, what was it? Maybe you, you, only, you only die once or you live. You live every day and you only die once. So, again, back and forth, I woke up one day and said, nope. Nope, I'm too scared. I'm too afraid of what, what the tomorrows are. I'm too afraid of what I'm seeing on the news. I'm too afraid of the future. I'm too afraid of what's going on in the economy. Um, I was, I'm just too afraid. And I think how many times, you know, back in the 30s and back in the 40s, and how many times so many other people have also been afraid and maybe, maybe, and certainly, didn't didn't do it didn't live their dream didn't take a chance and didn't go for it and we don't know how many people there are because we don't hear their stories we don't know their stories because they didn't so we we sold the house just in time <laughs> and we're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to do it. So over the next, we have a, you know, still some of the process with our bank um, to finish up. Now that, again, we're conservative people, and so we didn't do both. We're not doing bridge loans. Oh, my gosh, I would never sleep if we did something like that. Um, you have a banker for a dad. That does not go away. You know, that's just... That's just, no, nope. So, um, we have another probably 45 days or so for the process to play out, um, to finish what the bank needs to do, and then September, October, some activity where the build will start. And so Tweet Thistle Farms here at the corner of Mud Lake and Hulbert, um, we're going to be building our forever home. Looks like it. Looks <laughs> like it. So what we really hope to do is to kind of bring you all along on this journey, um, show you the good, the bad, the ugly uh, of this process, the house that we're building is uh, about 21, 2200 square foot uh, Cape Cod, very traditional. Um, I, I, the house, the front of the house will face Hulbert and will hopefully look like you have to ride your horse <laughs> to kind of get to it. it. You won't see the garage area, you won't see that from the, from the main street. It really hopefully will look like something that just um, was from the 17, 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, and our entrance will be off of Mud Lake, so it's that's just sort of the plan. Is something very traditional looking, um, very old fashioned, fits with our 1700s theme. Exactly. And we're very thankful for having a builder that. Um, builds all kinds of homes. Uh, he showed us some plans for an extremely modern, ultra modern home. And uh, he was smiling while he's showing it to us because he's like, I'm excited about your, your build and I'm excited about this one too. And it just is such a wide range of styles. And, um, and it's fun to be working with somebody who's excited about, excited about your plans. So. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just really happy that as many times I've been scared, I've been excited and let's go, go, go. At least one more time than I was scared. Mm. So, <laughs> keep watching. So, yeah, there are not always flowers in the flower stand as often as I would like them to be. But we have been you know, showing our home, having the home shown, de dealing with closing, documents, banks, dealing with the builder, all of these kind of different things that have kind of taken us away from some of the things that we wanted to do right now. But it's 
for the best, it's for the long run. Um, and now as we're moving, there will also be a bit of a hiccup possibly here and there, but every chance that I get, this is our happy place. Um, there is something really magical about this spot. This five and a half acres mm. is mm -hmm. really something. And I've described it before as being like a thin space. It's where your earth and heaven are as close as they will ever be. And those thin spaces are different for everyone. But there's something very special that happens here when we're here. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to what what the rest of 2022 will bring. The early part was not was not easy. We lost we lost some members of family and life is too short to wait. Keep watching. There's some amazing things that are going to happen here and we want to share it with all of our friends. Take care. We love you. Have a good night.